Bill O'Reilly in the Lose the Boss segment tonight. Gas prices hurting working Americans big time. Since President Obama took office in 2009, the price of a gallon of regular gas up 92%. And just in the past month, gas prices have risen more than 4%. So what's going on? Here now, Fox Business anchor Lou Dobbs. This is what I don't get. All right. Very warm winter here in the Northeast and most right. other parts of the country. Right. Very warm. Not a lot of home heating oil being used. That's right. right. So you figure... In America, uh -huh. a lot of oil reserves going way, 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 way up. We had a lot of oil, but, but no gas prices. Yeah. Yeah. That supply and demand thing. This year it's not working. And the reason is demand for gasoline is down. Demand for heating oil is down. So even driving gasoline? Correct. Right? Absolutely. So our demand is down, but our supply must be up. Right? Uh, well, if we were just in a domestic market, but here goes globalization No, again. no, but let's stay in the United States. Okay, we'll uh, stay in the we, United we, States. We have all of this oil brought in here uh -huh. in anticipation That's of right. a cold winter, and, and a, but we don't use it, so it's here. It's so here. It's just, well, now see, this is where I've got to take you out of here. And, and stay it's with me. It's not here? It's not here. But it got refined here. It got refined here. And then here. where did it go? It got exported. I know oh. that. And by the way, these fuels are now our number one export. Number one export. So they brought the oil in here. Refined and then it. They refined it, and they sent it out to where? Jet fuel, or to a primarily to Asia, to China. Primarily jet fuels, diesel, and gasoline, which normally would be in abundance right now. Yeah is being shipped overseas. Right, so the, and so the help oil it. companies are making all their money now, but, but mm -hmm. they still had to allot a certain amount of oil for the United States domestic Absolutely. Use. Hasn't been used. Hasn't been used because demand fell. Right. And that oil, that and those derivative right. uh, fuels, were exported. And that's what no okay, one's so talking about. they figured about. it out that it wasn't going to be oh, cold winter? These, these, these oil companies are not as dumb as the folks in Washington. Well, I heard, and you correct me if I'm wrong, right that the oil companies told their refineries to stop refining. Yeah. yeah. Now, they told them to start refining. As a matter of fact... So that's look, not true? It's absolutely not true. So they didn't slow the yeah, refining they, down? There are all sorts of myths around this. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad to it. The fact so, is we're exporting, and it's good news. Right. So they're exporting, but, but why are the gas prices going up at the pump? Because they are pushing the margins, and it's that simple. Well, I don't understand that. In pushing other words... Pushing the margin, what does that mean? What that means is they are managing to export... Yeah. fuels yeah and what is left yeah. is going up in price Why? because there is sufficient demand for what is left so they they're they're by exporting the fuel to china and mm -hmm. other countries right they're not leaving enough here correct so the so that and it's worse than just a, the gasoline bill yeah it's also home heating oil right 10 percent decline in demand for home heating right. oil because of the warm winter you you, you mentioned uh but again these fuels are now being shipped or exported overseas. Now, shouldn't the government then say to the oil companies, ah. you can't interfere with them? Because it looks like we're getting hosed, the American worker. Uh -huh. Look, the American worker's paycheck didn't go up 92%, Dobbs, okay? But the price of gasoline did. Okay, yeah. and then you're telling me the reason the price of gasoline went up is because the oil companies can make more money overseas. So they're saying to the Americans, blank you, we're not going to give you the oil because we make more over there. It is, uh, it is the same principle by which we are buying cheaper goods at Walmart. We're now part of a world market, like it or not. And the fact of the matter is we are competing with demand in China, in Europe, in, uh, primarily in Latin America. So no matter what we do, no matter how much we can serve, no matter how many cars get better mileage, the prices are going to continue to go up because they're selling all the stuff over there. You notice that you haven't heard President Obama crying Not about these word. higher prices. Not a word. And that's because this fits into his green philosophy. Yeah, he wants people to get so fed up that they, they go for the electric cars and all of that. They may I get understand. so fed up that they show up in November. But, but I think you understand how angry voters are that they have to bear the brunt of these price Absolutely. rises when it is in supply and demand anymore because China is eating up the oil and we're paying for that. Well, and, and then you throw into the equation the Keystone XL pipeline because part of the refining capacity yeah, but, but, has got to be... That's, that was a mistake by the Obama. But say they said, okay, you can have the pipeline mm -hmm. and all the oil comes in from Canada, the, well, they refine it in Louisiana and they send it to Beijing. So well, it's the same not thing. All we're still it. Good. Not all of it. they got plenty of oil mm -hmm. here and we're getting hosed. It's not supply it, and demand. It, it's not supply and domestic demand. Right. It's world demand. It's a world market, and this is the price boy, we're paying. Boy, and that's Absolutely. huge. It is huge. And I, th you got, I think the and government you, has got to do something. Step in and say, you have to allow uh, a certain amount.